Well, ladies and gentlemen, what is up? We are now back in game. This is going to be yet again another CVC. I'm sure he is not going to like this. So this is going to be Fire Kick from Team Vega down in the bottom left hand corner and up in the top right hand corner. Currently with a lead of 2 it's going to be MIA Starbuck. So we happy that we got another CVC. Yeah, um, Starbuck versus Fire Kick. Um, maybe this could go interesting, but. Stabba, um, going for a temple. It's going to be quite cheeky, so yes, yeah, this is actually going to be quite interesting. I actually like this sort of play. Instead of the Airborne Macro, we're going to see some interesting play. He has already done his job. He has already secured two wins of it for his team out of four, and that's all he needs. Yeah, so, um, quite interesting. He chose this, uh, I think he chose this map. No, Fire Cape chose because he was a loser. Um... Starbuck actually is being pretty ballsy with this move, going for a teleport on the four-player map. Uh, he did send his overload to the bottom left, and now we're starting to drone, um, maybe to the bottom right, or maybe to the bottom left. Um, so he will be able to see um, where his opponent is. Yeah, good sending it to the top right, bottom right, sorry. Um, he, he will be able to know where his opponent is while Firecake went for a hatch first. So, interesting. Yeah, it's gonna be looking great so far. I'm actually messing about with the storeboard trying to get effects because Wardy was shouting at me there about it and I'm not the best observer, I just may have noticed. So, I will try my best, but this temple is going to one. These Slex links are gonna try to run down this map as fast as possible. And it's actually pretty interesting to do this on a four player map. Because as we all know, anybody could spawn anywhere. So we've got no idea how he knows that he's down in the bottom left hand corner. But so far the overlord, he has actually shared at the bottom right. And he started at the top left. So he knows there's only one more place he could be. But a hatchery yeah. first, they go down there. So this is going to be interesting. But the size of this mob turns it back a little bit. He's going to have to go in. He's either going to have to go for this natural. Or go for this main. He's going to go for the natural base, try and cancel this, and try and take one himself either. But, but more lanes are flooding across this map, so it doesn't look like he wants to do that. Yeah, the second base uh, will finish off, not, not a cancel. Um, Spy Cake will try to kill off this base. Oh, the drone pool. This is going to be hard for him. Yeah. Yeah, so drones final off. The Zergling is not the best way to defend off. Uh, but you have to do what you gotta do. All of the drones are actually pretty low. And has only 11 drones uh, remain, and most of them are pretty on low health. Now Tuzogni just joined in. One spine color being built, um, but it's not even close to finish. And all of these drones can get sniped off really quickly. And and behind all of this, Starbuck did take a second base, um, made a few drones. He has actually did a lot of damage. Maybe if he killed off the second base, this would be huge for him. And I'm pretty sure that he would be able to. Um, maybe loot the, the entire Zerglings, but kill off the second base. No, he chose not to. He's in a huge advantage currently. Um, not huge, not the best, but uh, a big advantage. 17 drones to 18 drones to 10. And. Yeah. Yeah, he's definitely got the drone advantage that he needs in this game so far. Speed will soon enough be put down for Starbuck, and he will be able to get nice speed for his lanes to make him a little bit faster than they currently are. But both players continue to drone. Both players looking like they want to be passive so far. I, would, I was actually going to think that the fire kick made of just overbuilt lanes and went for one big attack, attack with speed. But that's actually not going to happen in this game. He's going to be quite passive and play it out here. So he is. He's going to wait so it is. Or he's going to wait for it. See exactly what his opponent does and then try and find an open. I would say that's what he's going to do. He does have that spin crawler and a queen. No second queen. Currently being made as we do speak, but that spin crawler definitely will provide a good bit of DPS if any lanes do run down there. But a second queen would be very interesting and would help him a lot to be able to wall off that ramp as if Starbuck does to stay the lane flood. But the supply lead is actually quite big at the moment, guys. It's 43 to 28. The 28 drones, the only 21 drones. So Farakirk did make that lead a little bit smaller by cons constantly droning and not focusing on a lane. He actually done the smart thing there with that bailing nest coming up. That's going to help him a lot. Starbuck has only threw down his building nest, but his natural is nearly saturated here. And he does have a lead from that starting point. Yeah, as you said, he has a leading from this build, the right build. Uh, maybe this is a build. And Fakir 
I think he wants to get killed. Uh, he actually killed one of these zerglings by mistake. Um, maybe it was a changeling, but a, no, the way there's a changeling. I don't know. Something weird just happened. Um, the zerg players killing off their bases. Um, but look at this. Um, Starbuck is on three gases, taking his four gases. He is gonna go very, very aggressive, really, really aggressive. Uh, with his bendingness and a lot of zerglings. Uh, just making lava, making some drones, making his economy at the best for two bases. And I don't know, could be quite off to defend uh, from this. Oh, somebody did actually just attack Fire Cake and did not on this. <laughs> Yeah, it's actually quite interesting. So Starbuck is getting his war crawler up as we do speak right now, and it looks like he's really, really wanting to be aggressive. But they are finishing for fire here because the aspire being thrown down here. That's probably going to be the most likely thing we do see. But Starbuck finally throws down a fire base at the eight minute forty mark, and now we do see that he's not going to be doing any sort of heavy aggression. He's going to more of two buildings and even make a couple more lanes on a couple more drones. But the aspire is on its way for fire kick a little bit ahead of Starbuck. And that's all the leads you need to win a ZVZ. Yeah, ooh, and the spire actually from Starbuck. Um, you can see Mutalisk versus Mutalisk. This is going to be quite interesting. Um, Starbuck actually, once again, is setting up for attack. Nope. He is getting a third base. Um, Martin may be going for a quick assault. Maybe getting a few um, good trade offs. So maybe just scouting. Uh, the Zergling count here is quite big. Oh. Oh my god, this could be enough to be able to kill him off here. Yeah. These buildings, oh, decent heads come. No speed though. He's actually stepped speed out. It's actually halfway done right now. He has an opening. Can he succeed with this? He's just not going to let a fair base go down. This is what he needs, ladies and gentlemen. The gas count for Starbuck is just going to be insane. If Firecake cannot get this fair base up. And it looks like he's not going to be able to. Starbuck. Yeah, oh, has it been given? Go ahead. Ooh, nice. Yeah, Starbuck uh, being really aggressive. Um, Fire is kinda in a panic mode over here. Two bennies going in. Ooh! Big connection yeah. there. Yeah, um, but Fire will be able to defend off. Um, with a big amount of losses, not roast uh, an army supply, but now 10 Mutalisk versus 7. GG is called, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. There we go, so this should be an all kill. Starbuck could kill Vader. Is it possible, ladies and gentlemen? Run.